If you only have a yarn and scissors, this is how you make a pom-pom. If you also want to attach a pom-pom, you will need a yarn needle or a crochet hook. So grab a yarn and wrap it around your four fingers. The more wraps you do, the fuller the pom-pom will look. I did 120 wraps. Then I'm going to cut this yarn, wrap the new yarn tail, go through these loops, and then tie a few knots. Now you have two tails. Leave the short one up here and then use the long one, wrap it around those loops. I did it one time but feel free to do it multiple times. When it meets up with the short yarn tail, pull it tight and tie those yarns together. Um, do a double knot so it doesn't come undone. Now we can cut the yarns along the top, so cut those loops open. After you finish this side, turn it upside down and then cut the yarns at this end as well. And then after that, you can check if you missed any loops. Make sure you cut all of them. Now, some of the yarns will be at a longer length. So we're going to trim them like this to make sure they are at the same length. Remember, the shorter the length is, the fuller the pom-pom is going to look. But you also don't want it to be too short or the pom-pom will be too small. But yeah, that is my pom-pom done. Now you can attach it to your beanie or your hat. You should have two yarn tails here. Uh, we want to get them through the top of the beanie on the wrong side. You can use a yarn needle or a crochet hook to do this. The second yarn needs to go um, to the wrong side of the hat through a different stitch because we're going to tie them together on the wrong side if they go through the same stitch, the same hole, um, it doesn't matter if you tie them on the wrong side, the pom is gonna come off. So when you get them to the wrong side, you can tie them together. Um, here you can do a double knot again, fasten off, and then you have your pom-pom attached to your beanie.